Aloha, this is Dr. George Cromack with RenewYourself.net and we're going to talk a little bit, explore a little bit different options that are available for women that are going to want to strength train for functionality as well as possibly aesthetically, um, that's, that depends on you. Um, <clears throat> I can't make gross generalizations, I can just talk about um, Preferences I've seen in general, of course, you may differ with a lot of the women that I've trained. Um, gross generality, a lot of these women um, didn't want to get bulging uh, muscles and biceps and triceps in their arm. What they wanted was um, tone, so you're not getting this, you know, loose skin, jingling, jangling, something that looks... Um, athletic without being too big or too athletic um, and that's pretty easy to do with the women in general um, we're going to just get tone in the in the arms and the shoulders um, and you don't want to get too big um, in general when you're doing the different exercises that we're going to demonstrate on YouTube video <coughs> you want to um, in general, for women, work with a little bit higher repetitions, which is going to get a sleekier, leaner um, type of muscle with tone without actually developing too much in the way of size. Um, and so that means higher repetitions. I like to work up there, you know, 20, 25, maybe even 30 reps on certain exercises for women. You do want to try to hit most of the major muscle groups. You really only need to do um, two sets of each muscle group once a week to get 75% of the results. Um, you're going to want to have some type of pull down movement in there, which usually is going to be for women, is going to be a pull down with a resistance band, not one you get in Walmart, but something that's going to be you know between 80 and 100 pounds that you can do um, you know 20 to 40 times. Uh, <clears throat> you want to do something that's going to actually do your uh, lats and your biceps and then you want to do something uh, for your biceps again and you can do a um, uh, you can do dumbbell curls and again keeping that up around 20 maybe 25 reps um, or you can do that as an isolation dumbbell curl one at a time sitting putting your your hand down on your um, thigh and then putting your the top side of your elbow over that and then just concentrating the curl that way. <clears throat> Triceps extension. Um, you can use a triceps extension uh, easy curl bar and we'll demonstrate this on another video but you're going to also be getting triceps when you do uh, push-ups and most women have to do them on their knees, which makes it a little easier. Wherever you're starting, anywhere from 2 to 15, <clears throat> you want to work up and increase that up to, um, you know, as many as you can do. Um, and hopefully you'll get to a point eventually where you can, you know, knock out 10 or 15 regular man push-ups. But in the beginning, probably starting on your knee, and that's going to exercise your triceps, shoulders, and pectoral muscle. Um, we're going to want to do chair dips and uh, we'll have to demonstrate that but that's also going to work the pec, shoulders and triceps. Um, we're going to want to do some ab work, getting into crunches and oblique work as well as lower abs and we'll demonstrate this on, on the video for you next week. Um, what else? We're going to want to do a wall squat for the quads and glutes possibly some single leg uh, stair raises for the calves and that's going to cover a large portion of an initial body shaping workout so we'll demonstrate this it will be easier for you the main point being with the women is we don't need to overwork and um, we want to stay higher in the repetitions um, of course, you want to do your supplementation in that window 40 minutes after, within 40 minutes of finishing the workout. That's Dr. George Cromack here with your health tips today. Aloha.